It doesn't seem to have affected you in a negative way. Right. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, I think that's... Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the track is attached by tape. 
What's, what resolution do you have on your, is that an optical encoder you have there? Or? It's in the Hall Effect. How much? Yeah, I guess it's really cool. You measure it to about... Uh, Come along line last three weeks. No, but it's limited by your uh, ADC conversion. So it's because it's a 10-bit ADC, it's pretty much 4.9 millivolts per number of degrees detected by the sensor. <laughs> The sensor itself <laughs> an analog will do. I Take a couple hours to get some sleep. Um, so, I mean, if it gets caught in that one spot, it stays there, right? What is, is that just friction? I mean, that's what I was trying to measure. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, we, want to see, we, don't, we don't have uh, excellent areas. Uh, you want to see the actual friction of the um, It's pretty constant. But it seems like one time there, like it just was stuck in one position. Yeah, I think it's because the, the rod just didn't do anything compared to the, uh, yeah. But, the, but otherwise it doesn't, you know, it's, it's pretty unstable. So, you know, you're catching it every second. Like we were using this rod with the, the really high quality bearings before. Um, but obviously those are too expensive, so these are just the regular roller skate bearings. This is a pretty shoddy system. Sometimes they get, uh, it takes a while to uh, get the lubrication going, so yeah. When they first start off, they're stiff and they spin them a couple times so they uh, get much freer. But I don't feel any grinding or anything. No. Well, I, I think my suggestion is to check your range and check how long you're taking to process your data because it looks to me like it's falling and then you're responding and that can't happen to respond as it's falling. Yeah, well, we did check that and it was. Um, 